These are some of the faces of Little North Road. These photographs were documents made by Chinese migrants of other migrants coming into China. They're the faces of migrant workers from Africa living in Guangzhou, where many had come to buy goods to resell back home. I came across uh, the, this neighborhood that's known as Xiaobei Lu, or Little North Road. New York-based photographer Daniel Trau was already fascinated by China's connection to Africa when he discovered this pedestrian bridge. It almost serves as a kind of uh, town square. He met two Chinese portrait photographers who were selling souvenir photos. I sort of sense that actually their photographs are more interesting than mine, <laughs> in a way more poignant and more complex. I sort of slowly came to the realization that their photographs need to, need to be the center of the book. Traub's photos would illustrate the backdrop and provide a frame. The book, called Little North Road, is the product of 25,000 digital photographs taken over six years, distilled down to just 40 photos from each portrait photographer. He at one point learned... Traub, who lived in China for nine years and whose mother is Chinese, spoke about the project recently while visiting Colorado. Far more than a collection of images, he says these photos show the bridge as symbolic gateway into China, the African migrant workers in a way directing the photographers, and both trying to make a living. For me, what's interesting is the photography aspect, uh, connecting up with the human aspect, and uh, putting that in a little package and saying, here, enjoy the mystery and wonder of life. Look at these fabulous creatures. Look at how beautiful they are, you know, how varied they are. It's a moment in time that may have passed. Today, commerce on the bridge is a fraction of what it once was. Far fewer Africans live in Guangzhou these days. I don't have a message particularly. It's more that this fascinated me and hopefully it does other people. Dignity, diversity, and human struggle. It's all revealed in these pages, in these snapshots of history. Hendrik Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.